Hey, Francesca, guess what? I've got some awesome news to share. Oh, hey, Johnny. Do you happen to have something exciting to tell me too? That's a lovely coincidence because there's actually something I've been wanting to discuss with you as well. Just hang on a second because I've got something even better to share with you first. I guarantee my news is going to make yours sound like a silly kid's joke. <laughs> Just kidding. You know, I'm messing around. Oh, okay. I hear you. Anyways, get ready to be blown away by this major news. I've just scored myself a promotion. Oh yeah! Cue the applause because it's a celebration for me. That's fantastic, Johnny. I know you've been dreaming about this forever. And now, all your hard work has finally paid off. Congratulations! Well, obviously, if I didn't get that promotion, I would have sued the entire director board of my company. <laughs> Just kidding. Trust me, we're going to throw an epic Christmas celebration this year now that our financial game has leveled up big time. So, what about you, Francesca? What's your amazing news? Tell me! Although, I highly doubt that it would come anywhere close to my mind-blowing news. <laughs> well, to top your good news with another dose of greatness, guess what? I just found out that I'm pregnant! Can you believe it? Are you as excited as I am? What? Is this some kind of joke, Francesca? Mm, no. What on earth are you talking about? Of course it's not a joke. I know you've been yearning for a baby for ages, haven't you? Now your wish has finally been granted. Aren't you over the moon about it? No, not really. What were you thinking? Getting yourself pregnant right when everything is going perfectly for me at work. Do you plan on sabotaging my entire career or something? I can't believe you chose this exact moment to drop this disastrous bombshell on me. You're truly unbelievable, Francesca. Huh? What are you going on about? Weren't you the one pushing me to have a baby earlier? You kept saying how you and your mom felt lonely and how having a child would make life less boring. And now, you're turning around and blaming me for being pregnant with our child? Seriously, how can you do that? Don't tell me you forgot what I just said. I've been promoted to a higher position at my company, in case you missed it. And guess what? With this fancy new position comes a boatload of responsibilities, a bunch of extra tasks to handle and even more hours spent slaving away at work. Do you honestly believe I have any time or interest in caring about you and your annoying little brat? Ah, Johnny, what in the world did you just say? How could you utter such hurtful words? I must say, you've really overstepped some serious boundaries here. Okay, okay, my bad. Alright? I'm sorry, okay? It's just that... I'm feeling super mixed up at the moment. I really need a little me time, you know? Just some quiet moments to clear my head. All right, I understand. I'll give you some space to process everything. Perhaps you just need a little time to adapt to this new reality. Hey, Francesca, listen. I gotta be real with you. I don't think I'm quite ready for a baby to come into my life just yet. Maybe... Is there something you could do to prevent this pregnancy from happening? Just throwing it out there. Why, Johnny? I remember how enthusiastic and excited you were about us starting a family before. What's brought about this sudden change? Do I have to spell it out for you? I've already said it a million times. But I'll say it again. Now that I'm a proud manager, all eyes will be on me at the company and they'll start prying into my personal life. But let's get real here. When you get pregnant, you're gonna pack on the pounds. And your weight gain will make me look like a loser in everyone else's eyes. Just picture it. A suave, polished manager like me, strolling alongside a fat, unattractive wife. It's like a messed up version of Beauty and the Beast, but with the roles reversed. Can you see how embarrassing that would be? What? I can't believe you would have such thoughts about me. Have you somehow forgotten that I am your wife? Can't you comprehend the simple facts? Pregnancy destroys a woman's body and you're bound to get all fat and out of shape. 
And let's not forget about all the damn trouble you're gonna go through during pregnancy. You won't even be able to lift a finger around the house anymore. But that's not all, oh no. We'll have some dumb kid running around, wreaking havoc and driving us insane. So tell me, genius, how the hell am I supposed to focus on my work with all these irritating distractions constantly getting in my way? Well, you know what? We could always hire a housekeeper, right? Problem solved. Oh, housekeeper? Yeah, like we can afford that kind of luxury. And let's be real, if we did hire one, you just have an excuse to get even lazier and fatter. I mean, seriously, what are you gonna do about your expanding waistline, huh? You're obviously gonna become a big fat mess. And it's gonna completely ruin the perfect image I have in everyone's eyes. Thanks a lot. So what exactly do you suggest I do in this situation? Remember, Johnny, it's our child we're talking about here. Please, let's approach this with some rational thinking. I want to assure you that I won't let myself go and become overweight. Trust me on that. Can we find a way to navigate this together and make the best decision for our family? Alright, alright, we can keep the baby. But on one condition. You have to promise me that you'll actually listen to what I say. If we're gonna make this work and keep everyone happy, we need to be on the same page and work as a team. Deal? Fine. We'll see about it. Oh, and here's another demand for you. Since it's such a great day for me with the promotion, I expect you to throw a little party for us. Don't bother going all out or anything. Just cook up my favorite dishes. It's the least you can do. Oh, actually, I already took care of dinner. I wasn't feeling too well today and I got a bit dizzy, so I decided to order some burgers instead. What? Burgers? Are you freaking kidding me? You've just promised me that you won't get fat. What's wrong with you? It's just one burger. It's not even that big of a problem. Oh great. One burger today and I bet tomorrow you'll be craving too. Listen up. Starting from now, I don't want to see you eating any more of that junk. Cancel that order immediately and make some meal. Nutritious food like a decent human being, okay? Francesca, don't even think about skipping your daily exercise just because I'm at work. If you dare to defy my commands, you won't be able to escape the consequences, got it? And don't even try to fool me. I know you're just lounging on the sofa, watching TV instead. This is absolutely not the time for that, alright? What? How on earth do you know what I'm doing? Hold on a second. Did you secretly install hidden cameras or something? It's none of your damn business. Now, get off your lazy ass and start doing the chores immediately. And after that, I better see you do those 20 squats for the afternoon. Don't you even think about skipping them, got it? If I find out that you purposely skipped them, I'll make you do double the number you were originally assigned. So you better not test me. But Johnny, I did try to do the squats, but my belly started hurting. That's why I had to take a little break instead. I didn't mean to skip them intentionally. Oh, more excuses, huh? Do you honestly believe that doing a pathetic 20 squats will harm your stupid belly? Give me a break. Those squats are supposed to benefit you, not hurt you. So quit your whining and get to it, alright? But something really doesn't feel right. Francesca, you're pulling the same crap as yesterday. Quit being so damn lazy all the time. Do you even realize that laziness is the primary cause of obesity? It's people like you that force the government to waste tons of money every year on weight loss campaigns and raising awareness about obesity. Remember the promise you made? You're not allowed to get fat. Shape up and start taking some responsibility for your own health. But I'm not getting fat. What are you talking about? Oh, really? If you're not getting fat, then why the hell is your belly getting bigger, huh? Fat people have big bellies, remember that. And let's not ignore the fact that you stuff your face with junk food all the time. It's no surprise if you end up looking like a pig with those eating habits. Get a grip and start making healthier choices, for once. What junk food, Johnny? I'm not eating any junk food. You know that. Oh, so now you're playing dumb, huh? 
Remember how you sneaked downstairs while I was peacefully sleeping? Just to stuff your face with something from the fridge last night? Let me guess, you were devouring ice cream, weren't you? How the hell do you expect to stay in shape if you keep munching on that crap? Seriously, tell me, what part of no junk food does your tiny brain fail to comprehend? It's like talking to a brick wall with you. But how did you find out about that? Remember, everything you do doesn't escape my notice. I have full control over whether I choose to expose your actions or keep them to myself, okay? So watch your step. I couldn't help it. I was really hungry. You didn't allow me to eat enough throughout the entire day and my hunger got the best of me. Oh, please. How much is enough for you, huh? If I let you eat to your heart's content, you'll just devour everything in the fridge. Let's get one thing straight. I keep track of your calories, and I know exactly how much food you're allowed to have. Don't think you can sneak around my watchful eyes. I swear, if I catch you even thinking about going to the fridge without my permission, I'll slap a lock on that thing so fast. You won't know what hit you. But Johnny, that's just not fair. This is our house. And I should have the freedom to do what I want to do. Why am I suddenly being restricted and controlled like this? Because you're pregnant and you made a promise to stay fit. You're the one who got yourself pregnant in the first place. But why am I the one who needs to suffer? Hey Johnny. I just bought the paint for our baby's room. I'm really excited about creating a warm and welcoming space for our little one. And? What do you mean by end? Don't you remember what we discussed yesterday? What? Don't tell me you're texting me just to talk about this pointless nonsense. I don't have time for your trivial updates. Get to the point if you have something important to say. But Johnny, remember yesterday when you apologized for the hurtful words and promised to finish up the baby's room before our little one arrives? You even mentioned that we would paint the room today. I was really looking forward to working on it together. Are you stupid or what? I'm drowning in work right now and all of you can think about is your pointless, useless baby? Try using your brain for once and pick a more appropriate time to text me. Will you? My goodness. You're turning into such a nag, you know that? But it's already 7pm. I thought you would be home by now. I have to work overtime today, okay? So go ahead and have fun painting the baby's room all by yourself. And make sure you eat your little portion of food, without even considering sneaking behind my back for more. If I catch you, there will be severe consequences. Got it? Oh, and by the way, I expect to see the baby's room completely painted by the time I return from work. Don't disappoint me. But... I'm pregnant, remember? And paint perfumes can harm the baby. Where did you even get that ridiculous idea from? I've never heard such nonsense in my entire life. Look at my mother. She used to handle all the heavy housework and yard work when she was 8 months pregnant with me in her belly. So why the hell can't you do the same? Is it because you're always cuddled by your parents that you can't handle even the slightest bit of difficulty? Get real. Well, if you don't believe me, then Google it. It only takes two seconds, you know. Why are you so damn annoying, Francesca? It's not like you're eating the paint. So stop whining. Are you the drama queen or what? If you're so worried, open the damn window. Well, I just really appreciate some help. That's all. Well, I'm busy right now. So figure it out yourself, you fool. Stop bothering me with your petty problems. Francesca, are you dead or something? Why aren't you at home preparing breakfast for me, huh? Ever since you got pregnant, you've really let it go to your head. Always ready to defy my every order and command. Do you seriously think I'm some kind of joke? Get your act together and start obeying me like a good wife should. Johnny, don't you remember what happened yesterday? I'm currently in the hospital. I had a fainting episode while watering the flowers in the backyard. Thankfully, 
A kind stranger passing by saw me and called an ambulance to take me here for medical attention. What? So you're telling me you're still in the hospital? When do you think you're going to come back home and make breakfast for me? I have work to do and I have an important meeting today, okay? Unlike some ignorant fool who laces around the house all day thinking life is all flowers and roses, I actually put in blood, sweat, and tears to earn money. So the least you could do for me is drag your lazy butt over here right now and make breakfast. I don't have time to deal with your excuses. Are you serious right now? Don't you even realize why I fainted? It's because of the overwhelming workload you've been piling on me while I'm pregnant with our baby. Don't you think it's about time you apologize for that? Quit acting like a dumb whiny child. Remember, you're a grown adult. Or did that slip your mind? You're having a child, not regressing into one yourself. Time to learn some independence. I already said it, so listen up and get back home this instant to prepare my breakfast. If your incompetence makes me late for work and my precious salary gets deducted, you better believe I'll make you pay for every penny I lose. All right, all right. I'm on my way back. Just give me a few minutes to wrap up some procedures at the hospital. I'll make sure to get home as quickly as possible. Hurry up! I don't have all day to wait around for you. Francesca, I have no idea what's going on. But out of the blue, my boss wants to visit our house today. I can't wrap my head around why he chose to drop by on such short notice. Oh, really? So... Can you at least pretend to care? We're talking about my boss here, okay? Listen up, I need you to get your act together and prepare a nice and delicious meal for my boss and his wife. They're coming over to our house for dinner and you better make sure everything is perfect. Alright, so what do you want me to cook for them? Use your brain for once and figure it out yourself. Are you seriously so dumb that you can't even decide what's good to eat? Anyway, that's all I can bother telling you. Oh, and make sure you wear something decent to hide your fat body. If my boss catches a glimpse of how much weight you've gained, I'll become the laughing stock of the entire company. Okay, got it. And while you're at it, try to put some effort into wearing makeup too. It's unbelievable how you don't even care about your appearance anymore since you got pregnant. You always look pale and hideous, just like an ugly monkey. It's embarrassing to be seen with you. Fine. I'll put on makeup and wear a nice dress. Are you satisfied now? That's what I'm talking about. Just make sure you behave yourself if you still want your baby to have a father. Got it? Can you fill me in on what just went down at our house? Because I'm totally clueless about what just happened. And what part can't you understand? So, my boss was supposed to come over for a nice meal at our place, right? But why did he drop the bombshell that I'm getting fired from the company out of the blue? What is going on? You heard him. He made it clear that based on your character and behavior, he doesn't consider you worthy of being part of his company's team. That's why you're being fired. Of course, you'll receive a termination letter from him soon enough. This is all your damn fault. Why did you pull that ridiculous stunt on me, huh? Acting like some weak, helpless pregnant woman, making my boss think I was mistreating you or some crap like that? You've made me look like a total jerk in my boss's eyes. Is that what you wanted? Are you freaking satisfied now with the mess you've created? Well, I haven't done anything wrong. I've simply been following your instructions like I always do. I've been eating small portions, doing the exercises you asked me to do, and taking care of the household chores you assigned me before you left for work, so it's there for you to complain about. Are you seriously that dense? Those rules only apply when we don't have visitors in our house. You couldn't just go ahead and do those things without consulting me first. Do you even realize how much you embarrassed me in front of my boss? And honestly, why did he have to be so harsh towards me when he saw you? I seriously don't understand what went wrong there. Well, let me enlighten you with an unexpected coincidence. The man 
who took me to the hospital the other day turned out to be your boss. He kindly helped me get in touch with you while I was at the hospital. But you didn't bother answering the phone. There was this one time when you actually answered a call from my phone. Do you remember what you said? You simply brushed him off with a careless, I'm busy, and hung up. Just like that. I don't even need to describe how furious your boss was when he heard you speak to him like that, do I? It's no wonder he reacted the way he did. Wait, what? So, it was actually my boss who helped you get to the hospital that day? Why didn't you mention that earlier? To be honest, I didn't know that man was your boss until I saw him again today. It was quite a surprise. Oh, and here's another little twist. It was actually me who invited your boss and his wife over to our house for dinner. Huh? You what? Why on earth would you do that? You conniving witch? Now that I think about it, the other day, I noticed my phone mysteriously disappeared for a while and then magically reappeared. I thought I was just imagining things, but it turns out it was you all along. You had the audacity to snatch my phone without my consent and text my boss, didn't you? You snake! <laughs> you got that right! Of course, it was a piece of cake guessing your phone's password since you always use your mom's birthday, right? Am I correct? You sly woman! How dare you play me like that? Well, here's the thing. I've been doing a lot of thinking about our relationship, and I've come to the realization that it's just not working anymore. That's why the idea of getting a divorce crossed my mind as a way to put an end to this marriage. However, I also thought that simply divorcing you would be too easy. Then it hit me that your weakness lies in your job. That's why. I came up with the idea of revealing your true self to your boss. Pretty smart of me, huh? You, you imbecile! Why the hell did you do that to me? Do you even understand the magnitude of your actions? You single-handedly ruined my career. The career I've been building for nearly five years. Tell me, are you thrilled about what you've accomplished? Are you truly proud of yourself? No, Johnny. It's actually you who destroyed your own career when you chose to mistreat me. Remember what your boss said to you? He specifically despises people who deceive others about their true character to get ahead in their work, as well as those who mistreat their partners. Remember his own daughter tragically lost her life due to mistreatment from her partner? She endured verbal and physical abuse alone, which led to her depression. And when it all became too much, she tragically chose to end her life in a heartbreaking way. That's why your boss made a solemn vow to never go easy on individuals who mistreat and abuse their partners. What? But I... I've never mistreated you, have I? Everything I've done has been for your own good. Can't you see that? I just don't want you to become a whale. An average newborn weighs only 7 pounds and you've packed on like 20. That's way too much extra fat. Are you serious? You have absolutely no clue about how pregnancy works, you stupid idiot. Ever since I became pregnant, you've completely stopped caring about me. I feel like nothing but a burden to you. And let's not forget about all your ridiculous notions about me getting fat. The insane exercises and diets you impose on me just to prevent weight gain. I've had enough, Johnny. If you want me and our baby out of your life so badly, then fine. Just sign the divorce papers and we'll officially become strangers. What? Are you trying to dodge your responsibilities here? It's your fault that I lost my job, so you need to own up to it. Tell my boss to give me my job back. Got it? I'm dead serious, not joking around with you. Johnny, that's enough. No matter how much you plead, there's no way you'll ever get your job back. I happen to be the CEO of this company and you simply don't meet the necessary standards to work here. You lack the moral values that are crucial for our employees. Therefore, consider yourself fired. No amount of begging will change that decision. Huh? W what? Boss? Is that you? Are you there with Francesca now? Yes, that's correct. She is staying with me and my wife until the divorce with you is officially completed. I can't allow her to continue staying with an abusive monster like you any longer. I refuse to let you harm an innocent woman and her child. I strongly advise you to gather your belongings and vacate my office immediately. 
There are countless candidates eagerly waiting for the opportunity to occupy the position you once held. But boss, I swear I haven't done anything wrong. Could you please give me another chance? I promise I'll make things right. I'll treat my wife better than I ever have before. This is a personal matter between you and your wife. And it's not within my authority to make decisions for the both of you. However, I personally don't believe that someone can undergo such a rapid transformation based solely on a few text messages. That's why I stand by my decision to terminate your employment at my company. And I consider this decision to be final. Boss, I gotta be honest. This doesn't seem fair to me. Could you maybe give it another thought? And Francesca, come on, say something to the boss so he doesn't kick me out of the company. Pretty please. Listen up, Johnny. I don't want to hear any more of your words. All your pleas and apologies are just empty shells without any real honesty. The next time we'll be having a conversation is in court. Goodbye, Johnny. Hold on a sec, Francesca. Can we please hit the pause button on this decision? I seriously don't think I deserve all of this. I genuinely need you in my life, Francesca. Can you find it in your heart to grant me another chance? Pretty please with a cherry on top? Come on, Francesca! Johnny's boss, Mr. Calvin, played a significant role in helping me navigate the divorce proceedings with Johnny. With his assistance, we found a competent lawyer to handle the legal aspects. As part of the settlement, our house was put up for sale, and the proceeds were divided equally between us. In addition, Johnny was obligated to provide child support and alimony following the divorce. Despite his persistent attempts to reconcile, his efforts proved futile. After grappling with a tarnished reputation that hindered his job search, Johnny finally secured a part-time position in an entirely different field. It appears he has come to terms with his circumstances and has reduced the frequency of his calls. He has also expressed a desire to spend time with our child on weekends. Upon learning about the abuse I endured during my time with Johnny and the fact that I had become an orphan at a young age, Mr. Calvin and his wife developed a deep connection with me. Unexpectedly, they made the incredible decision to adopt me as their own daughter. Now, I'm living a joyful life with my loving adoptive parents and my precious baby. Regardless of what the future holds, I will forever consider myself blessed for the abundant happiness I have found.